on today's list, frugal friends, we have candles. This was supposed to be a vlogmas video, but of course we got so incredibly sick throughout like Christmas and after Christmas. There was one person sick, then another, then another, and I am still recovering, as you can hear in my glorious voice. But I am no longer letting that stop me. We have, what, two days left of antibiotics. I'm, <laughs> I'm done putting life on hold. So we have this DIY candle making kit that was sent to us by a sponsor quite some time ago. And that's going to come in very handy with this project. I do love me some candles. My favorite might be pretty obvious. It is the Walmart Main Days Mold Cider. I love this one. but you can never quite burn all of the wax. So I've held on to them. Oh, there's another. And some dumpster salvaged candles that were left up in the attic after uh, Day of the Dead a few years ago. And I found them on this most recent time working up in the attic, which I will be doing again soon. Decluttering is finally getting back into full swing. And so what I'm planning to do is to put these ones into a pot of boiling water and hopefully we will get all of this wax melted, pour it into our little uh, pitcher here, which came with this kit and maybe add the apple pumpkin in as well. I don't know. And then, of course, melt all of these and see if we can't come up with one really fantastic cast, uh, candle or because this kit includes several adorable little jars, maybe, I don't know, because like there's a lot of, of this wax but not a ton of those maybe we'll make one out of what's left of the mold cider and maybe combine it with this one here into one of these hmm things to think about i'm not sure yet and then maybe use all of this mm, i don't know we might reuse one of these jars i'm not sure also do you guys have things that you do with these. I think these would be perfect storage container jars once we get all the wax melted out and we scrub off all the labels using the lids that they came with. I think they would make fabulous storage jars. But anyway, thoughts and ideas you guys have, please do share those in the comments. I have got all of the candles into pots with water. I'm going to slowly heat them up. We will see kind of what happens. Turn that on, turn this on, just kind of low. I don't want to get all crazy with it because I've never done this before. Oh, this smells so good, frugal friends. All right, so now that these ones are all nice and loose, these ones are not, they're taking longer. I'll turn those up in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and pour them into this, the pitcher, uh, because I'm not sure yet exactly what I want to do, and I don't know how much we will have. Will it be enough to fill this? Will it be more than enough to fill this? I don't know, but let's go ahead and very carefully There we go So that's an unexpected bonus. Took the sticker right off the bottom. That's wonderful. Since this is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and move these ones over in here. Okay, so that's how much I ended up with. I'm thinking that will fill maybe like one and a half of these, maybe two. Uh, I am going to get another one ready. Oh, which one, which one? Difficult choices. Oh, this one, definitely. Okay, then 
These I moved over to this spot on the stove. Do you have a favorite spot on the stove? We do. It's this, this, this spot here. And the problem is I'm not sure what I'm going to pour them into. So I think I have to do this first before. So I turned it off because I don't think I have anywhere to pour them. And so I've got to do this. But also I don't think all of this wax is going to fit into this pitcher. So, and then I'm not sure where I'm going to pour them into. We shall see. I'm thinking about it. I mean, I could just pour them back into one of these. Hey, that's not a bad idea. That could be a thing. I've got all of the jars over here. An accident happened with this one. I can't remember. What one is this? Oh, the apple pumpkin. Unfortunately, it turned over in the water, and so I was not able to salvage the wax from that one. There wasn't very much, so it's fine, but it still sucks. So I've got these in here soaking in some hot soapy water. We will get all of the labels and stuff off and hopefully scrub some of the soot off of them, make them look pretty, and then I'm not sure exactly what we'll do with them. Yes, I know, that's a lot of cold medicine. We are still sick. And then we are going to have them be some kind of storage containers. Maybe for my herbs after that tragic, horrible accident where I was getting the rice down and knocked over my refurbished, refinished shelf and all of those jars of herbs that I had lovingly preserved and labeled. That's not a bad idea. I bet it, it would look really cute. I also am very strongly thinking about moving this shelf to a safer location, for instance, like up above the window or something to avoid any future potential disaster. Getting the jars clean has been harder than I anticipated. Um, these ones, I had had them in like hot soapy water and stuff. It was not effective. Uh, so I've got two pots going. Just threw these ones in. We will pour out as much as we can from them, like whatever melts. Like there's plenty of wax still in there. And then, I don't know, you guys, if you have suggestions, please do tell me in the comments how to get these clean from the wax. I don't know, maybe vinegar or something might help, but that's where I'm at. Thank you so much for watching. Please do tell us what things you are recycling, upcycling, you know, things that most people would normally just send to the landfill. What are you doing? Tell us. I would love to know. Okay, have a wonderful day, frugal friends. We'll see you all very soon. Wish me luck. God, please wish me luck.